Greetings, fellow adventurers, and welcome to another episode of the almost world famous Cactus Atlas. On today's episode, I'm gonna be exploring the north rim of the Grand Canyon, going to what's supposed to be one of the best lookout points here on the north rim, known as Cape Royal. I'm really excited to go check this out, so if you wanna see what it's like, come with me and stick around. Let's go find out. So as with many things here on the North Rim, things are very spread out, um, not really easily within walking distance. For example, the visitor center to the campground is a little bit of a hike, um, but certainly Cape Royal, the lookout point that I'm going to, is definitely not walkable from the campground. It's about a 45 minute drive, and that's where I'm heading now. It's currently 4.45 p.m. where I'm at, and sunset is at 6.25 p.m. So that should give me plenty of time to get to Cape Royal, park, walk out to the lookout, which I hear is a little bit of a walk, not too bad, and kind of set up shop to see the sunset. And this is beautiful up here. I had no idea it was this uh, different in, in the way it is up here. I'm, I'm in love already. It's really interesting too if you notice some places it's more evident than others but there's definitely some fall color starting to poke its head through back here. I was quite surprised and it, and it varies too. It's like some places are still very green and then you'll come upon areas that have a lot of like yellow, like over here, a lot of yellow and orange already. See that? Look at that, that's beautiful. So I imagine in the upcoming days to weeks, this is gonna be an autumn wonderland. You know, it's really neat driving through this forest. Just never ending. I've probably been on the road now for about a half an hour, still on the way to Cape Royal. You just really get a sense for how expansive this wilderness is and how deep these forests go. It's just, it's something that I've never experienced to this extent before in Arizona. Of course, I've driven through forest around Flagstaff and stuff, but the terrain changes or the habitats change so much from like pinion juniper forest to ponderosa back and forth or if you're on flagstaff you kind of get to civilization out of civilization back in civilization this is just forest like forever back here really neat something i've not experienced to this extent since i've lived in arizona so it's worth coming up here partially just for that all right so i've arrived at the Cape Royal parking lot. It is now 5.20, so 20 after five. And I left about quarter till, we'll just say 20 till. So yeah, probably made it in about 40 minutes, maybe a little bit less. So I guess the estimate that it takes about 45 minutes is accurate. So one thing that's good to know, I wasn't quite sure, is if you drive all the way out here to Cape Royal, they do have restrooms, which you could see right behind me. There are four toilets, they're unisex, uh, no running water, but they were clean. And here's what the trail looks like so far. I didn't really even check to see how long of a walk it is. I don't imagine it's too far. I've seen so far people of all different fitness levels and ages here, young and old alike. So there's just some kind of a different type of peace up here at the North Rim. There's something magical that I can't quite describe. Okay, so the trail forks off. So I'm assuming Angel's Window is the bridge that I saw over that way. What I think I wanna do is go to Cape Royal Point. Another thing that I always worry about, and you hear me talking about it in all my videos, is how crowded is it gonna be? And I don't see too many people so far. So crossing my fingers, Oh, and I do think it's going to look off to the west. Let's take a quick look here. That is going to be awesome. You can see it's not 
too terribly crowded, but folks are kind of trickling in. I imagine it can get much more crowded than this. It's not bad at all, but like I said, there are quite a few people standing where the westerly view is. So I'm kind of inclined to stay over here. So one thing I can tell you for sure is sunset or not, yeah, this, they were right. This place is awesome. You do get like, I think they said it's a 270 degree view. I mean, you can see west, you can see east. I imagine a sunrise would be amazing here. Um, and overall, it's a little hazy at this point and it's kind of hard to see because the sun is really bright if you're facing west right now. But looking back uh, east that way, was spectacular, lots of beautiful shadows. So I would say to date, this ranks up there with the best views of the Grand Canyon you can see. I think what makes it so neat too is you've got a lot of like big rock formations in the middle of the canyon. It really had a lot of like depth to it. And there you have it, sunset at Cape Royal. It was spectacular. Unfortunately, I don't think I have the right type of camera. Um, I don't think I did it any justice, but I did my best. Go take a quick peek down here. Have the whole place to myself. Look at that. Very pretty colors tonight. I almost feel because of the low light capabilities of this camera that this is actually getting better footage right here, right now, as opposed to earlier. Well, I don't wanna head back. I wish I could just set up my sleeping bag up here and start a campfire right out here on the edge of this and eat my hot dogs, watch the stars tonight. But alas, I have quite the drive to get back. Another 40, 45 minute drive. Ugh. So I just wanted to give you a few final thoughts about that very magical experience that I just had here. So if you take the trouble to come all the way up to the North Rim, you'd be foolish not to take the time that it takes to drive here. The 40 minutes compared to how long it takes just to get here is nothing. And it's a beautiful drive through a beautiful forest. When you get here, you'll be rewarded with some of the best views of the Grand Canyon that I've ever seen. You can see east, west, straight across. You're on the north rim, so you kind of can see down on top of the other side. And the sunset, oh, that was so spectacular. Now, unfortunately, with this particular camera, it probably didn't do it justice, I'm sure of that. But seeing it with your own eyes is what matters and being here. And that was magical and I don't know another way to put it. I know that's cheesy, but that's the only word I really have for that. So, Cape Royal, Grand Canyon North Rim, don't miss it. Make it a point to do this at least once in your life because you will regret it if you don't. If you're new here, please subscribe to our channel. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, hit that notification bell to stay on top of whenever we release new content, which we do all the time. 
Also, you could find us on social media at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under the name Cactus Atlas. Well, that was one of the better experiences I've had in a long time. I hope you enjoyed it too. I gotta get back to camp now. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you on the next adventure right around the corner. One last view before I pack it up for the night and head back to camp. Oh yeah!